What's up guys, my name is Matt, Hi. and in this video we're going to be making a dungeon guide for the Blood Furnace. Once I turn down my volume a little bit, sorry a little loud guys. That should be good. Start the Blood Furnace, you're going to pick up your one, two, three quest right out the gate. So, quest in the Blood Furnace are pretty simple guys. What you've got to start is you're going to get blood off of these fell orcs. So as you kill them, you just loot the blood while you loot the other items, and it is easy day. Next quest we're going to look for is to fully investigate the blood furnace, which just means you're going to have to run through to the last boss room, which you're going to do anyway, so also super easy. And then the breaker is just to kill the last boss, so really super simple quest in this dungeon. And the Blood Furnace was traditionally the second dungeon that people would do in the Burning Crusade expansion. And it uh, doesn't need to be that way anymore because right now uh, where we're at in Battle for Azeroth, anybody from 58 on up can do either the Wrath Dungeons or the BC Dungeons pretty much in almost any order they can see fit as they gain levels and get access to all of them. So... Do whichever expansions, dungeons you dig more, and tank goes down. I'm going to turn on the taunt from the pet and get some pet healing going. There we go, so the group can recover. Taunt back off, and the monk is already back with us. Okay, so as we go up these stairs, guys, there is going to be a rogue somewhere around here. There he is. And... Once you get up to the top of the next level, there will be one or two more. Okay, we already got the Fell Orc Blood done, so that quest is finished. And you guys will see a patrol that's a caster right here. You can pick him up. And he pulled the other groups together, so we get an AoE festival now. Okay, loot all the goodies, head into the next room. Once you clear down this hallway, then we're going to have some fun with the first boss room. If you guys look down here, Way down there is where Mag Theridon is, and that is the level 70 raid. You guys will have a better view of that when we get to the last boss room. I thought there was one more rogue over here. Yep, there he is. Okay, first boss room. There's the first boss. That's the maker. I uh, recommend that you clear the room out first before you get to him.
Okay, I recommend you stay away from these guys if you're not melee, which are the sh uh, Shadow Moon Tacticians because they throw bombs on the ground that do quite a bit of AoE damage to you. Tank got hit by those bombs I was just talking about, so I was being for real for real when I said to watch out for those. Okay. All right, on to the maker. So the maker's gonna run around a little bit. Nothing real crazy as far as the boss encounter, as far as how much damage you're gonna take anymore or anything for the tank. Okay, we got the girdle of the gale storm. That is a belt and let's take a look at that. It's kind of a um, tan and blue belt for those of you that are into transmog. And make sure you loot him because the quest item is on him, which is the Fell Illusion Rod, guys. I believe there's also another rogue over here. Yep, there he is. Yeah, it's a misclick. Because I'm a big noob. clear down this long hallway again these guys throw bombs on the ground so just be aware of where you're stepping if they do that and there's a patrol there and down at the end where the patrol is there's also another rogue i believe over there <coughs> excuse me okay Okay, we pulled two groups. Might be a little rough on the old tank. Let's see how we do. Keep my pet mended up just in case. Notice that monks, while super powerful uh, late game, have a lot of trouble um, until about Draenor I've been seeing. Um, just taking a lot of damage. Um, to see why that happened, I actually made a level 20 Dark Iron Dwarf myself. I used my active, I ran the Rage Fire Chasm. So these are the proximity bombs I was telling you guys about. Just don't step on those. Um, I actually made a level 20 Dark Iron Dwarf monk. Put BOAs on him and use active mitigation on every pull, and I still took a tremendous amount of damage. Now, if I run that on a um, a warrior um, or a paladin at a uh, low level, like I'm hardly going to take any damage the whole dungeon. Um, so it's a pretty substantial difference for leveling uh, tunes. So I, I think that warriors and oops, somebody stepped on a bomb and died. 
I think that Warriors and Paladins definitely have an early game advantage, guys, as far as how much damage they take. Okay, next pack. Okay, now when you pull this lever, what's going to happen is you're going to get a start of an encounter with four different groups of orcs coming out. Four orcs per group. Misdirect. And last pack. Okay, after you kill the four packs, guys, this boss is going to come out, which is Broguk. And when Wrath came out and Blood Death Knight DPS was king, I used to love to solo this guy. He's super easy day now. Way easier than he used to be, let me tell you. Used to be quite the bugger. Oops. Woo -wee! There we go. Man, he hit me hard. He hit me for like 80% of my health. That was rough. Don't need to clear these, you can just run on, but if you'd like to, you sure can. Over here, I believe, about. There's usually a rogue. Yeah, or he might be patrolling right now. I'm not quite sure where he's at. But there's a rogue in here, too. There he is. Okay, there's another rogue in this room somewhere. Hopefully that pulled him out. It, there he is. Nope, that's not the rogue. That's still the caster. Let's see, maybe we'll hit the rogue on the way out then. Okay, these guys charge, and they charge non-aggro non members of the group. So even if you don't have aggro, they can randomly charge you, so just be ready for that. There we go, I got stunned. Human racial out, burst down. Okay.
let me, there we go. Once you guys walk into this room, you will get the Explore the Blood Furnace quest done. Then you're going to kill all these singles. They don't have full health of elites, so don't sweat them. Um, you're going to kill all these single mobs. Not single. They're not on the dating market. Individual mobs is what I mean to say. Look below you. That is the raid boss, Meg Theridan. And as soon as the last one of these dies, you're going to fight Kaladin, the Breaker, the last boss of the Blood Furnace. Then you get to have a really cool effect once he's dead. And that is that they're going to give you a major speed increase and you're going to rush down this tunnel that's behind me. That will show you in a second. Make sure you loot Kaladin and then you are set. He's going to do some AoE fire damage to you guys. Nothing too crazy. Pretty straightforward boss. Okay, we looted him. Now, there it is. The tunnel has appeared. Use your speed increase to get some extra juju flowing, and there you go. Okay. Heading over, and now we are going to turn some goodies in. Somehow my speed increase dropped off of me. Oh, well. Maybe because I disengaged. You kind of lost the ground effect. That's okay. Anyway, here we're going to turn in all three. Boom, boom, and boom, and another level. Can't beat that. That was a blood furnace, guys. I hope you uh, enjoyed the guide. If you did, uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like to see more WoW videos, please hit the little bell icon so that uh, I can notify you when I get a new one. Thank you guys for spending the time with me. This has been Matt from Light in the Darkness, signing out. See you guys in the next one. It's been fun.